Interesting holiday trade with a very bearish divergence. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Thursday, the last day of the trading week, because, of course, tomorrow is a good Friday and a blessed good Friday and a happy Easter and happy Passover to everybody. Ah, well, Christine Lagarde opened her mouth and sent the euro currency sinking. Of course, we know how criminal the fiat currency market is to begin with. Uh, but I think you're looking at a, a very uh, bearish divergence in markets right now. Uh, the Dow futures are spiking higher, up about 180. The Rus- the S and P is down about 18 dollars, which is a huge diver- diversion between or divergence, excuse me, between the two, uh, which would indicate some very bearish activity in play right now. The Dow is considered, for whatever reason, still the safety index that people run to. I don't understand why, but again, it's not for me to argue why. In the meantime, as I said, the Dow is up and we are still long. The NASDAQ is down 180. We are short. The S&P is down 18, as I said, and we are short long, excuse me. And the Russell is down 30 and we are a short, of course. Uh, the metals are under a little bit of pressure. But, you know, coming back a little bit, but we have reversed this morning into this lower move. But, of course, our signals trigger the night before based on the close. And uh, so they're a little bit lower. But you would expect that after a nice rally. And the real key is going to be, can gold hold 1960? Can silver hold, you know, the 25 to 2550 level? But we are now long both gold and silver. Crude is a little bit lower, but, you know, had a nice big up day, and it's, it's still within range of being higher before today is over, and we are still long, of course. The dollar is one, 100 and, and a half, okay? We are still long, and, of course, again, this goes back to the the manipulated criminal uh, fiat market, which is really just a way to steal money or give you taxation without representation. Uh, Bitcoin is getting is under, under pressure, and we are short. Um, the uh, copper markets are lower. We are short. Natural gas over seven bucks. If you don't, if, you, if that doesn't tell you that the Biden energy policy or the, this administration's energy policy is the dumbest ever, I don't know that natural gas has ever been this high at this time of year uh, when it's supposed to be lower. But it is higher, and that's and we're still long. So I can't, I cannot complain. Bonds and notes are getting crushed. Uh, interest rates are rising. Mortgage rates are going up. Housing sales will be going down. It, this is, again, there are, the roadmap is being laid out for everybody as you watch these markets. I'm not telling you to jump in and sell everything and get short. I'm saying to you that don't be surprised if this trend picks up and we start to go down much faster. Okay, that's all. Uh, look, again, we're split, and uh, but we'll be reversing, I can promise. Okay, in the meantime, you've got... Uh, the grain markets are flat to, to slightly lower. Corn and beans are higher. We're long both. And, and wheat is down a little bit. And we reversed this morning wheat into the down move as well. Uh, the, the, the protein complex, basically, and slightly lower. I mean, nothing close enough to unchanged hogs, cattle, and feeder cattle. And then the soft cotton is lower. We're long. Coffee is lower. We're long. Sugar is lower. is long. Cocoa is flat, and we are long. And OJ, geez, it's, it's down actually a little bit today at a dollar eighty-one. Unbelievable pricing here. Uh, look, at the end of the day, it's simply a very dull market. It's been it's been brutal coming into today. Okay, it's been brutal for about the last month or maybe six weeks where there's been absolutely no action. Well, there's going to be zero action today. You'll see a lot of vacuum moves here. Just be very careful. If you're going to trade, which I am not, okay, but if you're going to trade today, be very careful and be very disciplined and make sure you set that stop. The markets are closed tomorrow, so we've got an extra long weekend. No markets are open until Sunday night after today. So in the meantime, listen, be good. Have a very happy Easter, a blessed Good Friday, and a happy Passover. 
As always, I thank you. And don't forget to check the sponsors scrolling along the bottom. And we'll see you back here again on Sunday with Bubba's Bottom Line. And, of course, have a great weekend, everybody, and enjoy the holidays, whichever ones that you celebrate. And we will see you back here again on Sunday, Easter Sunday, with Bubba's Bottom Line.